Okay, so today's project is chicken coop. So Nicole picked this up on Etsy. It's the whole blueprint, design, materialist, everything. Um, she picked it up and uh, just seemed to be a little easier than, I mean, I drew one up similar, but this is a detailed materialist. So, I mean, I went to Home Depot just now, got all the materials, trim and everything. I had the nails, I had the, the roofing stuff. Pretty much had all that, but I got the siding. That's the flooring. With legs. Got some more stuff for the uh, the goat milk uh, parlor, but uh, framing. That's the trim. More framing stuff. So that's what we're starting on. But these prints, though, if you uh, ever build a chicken coop, this seems to be legit. Like 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 I said, a detailed material list. And then it goes, I mean, the floor plan and framing and the length of pieces you need to cut and how to use one sheet to make a whole floor instead of buying two full sheets. And I mean, everything is just, it's awesome. So we're gonna give this a shot. All right, first step was uh, cutting all these two by fours down. Those are the four by four legs, the 45 degree cross braces, and then the four, um, joists and the rim joists. So 72 inches long, 56 inches long, 17 inches, 21 or 20 inches. So that's the dimensions. You can look the, uh, the prints up on Etsy though. I'm not gonna keep putting numbers in here, but uh, that's the basic size of the, the floor though. 72 by 56, I believe what it said. And then it'll be 17 inches off the ground. All right, so the floor is framed in. 24 inch on center, it's five feet wide. Got the uh, 45 braces and the uh, legs, so it's it's off the ground. It's showing me that I can take one sheet of plywood, cut it five foot wide, go across them two spans, and then what it's showing is to make one piece 48 inches by 24 and the other 12 by 24. I'm not really sure if I want to do that, but that is what it is set up to do so you can take what's left of that four by eight sheet and use that to make those two pieces, so. All right, so I decided to, instead of wasting a, a half sheet, just decided to do it the way that the design said for, or called for, so there's the platform. That's a start. And there's the, these are the babies that are gonna be in there eventually. We got other egg layers, but uh, we picked up three Americanas, three, uh, black Orpingtons and three Leghorns from Tractor Supply the other day because we're gonna we're gonna get our flock changed out a little bit so we have uh, all big la egg layers instead of a mix of them so but there's progress so far all right so this next get in here nice and close this next one is uh, I'm just showing you something I learned with the with the builders square um, a speed square. Uh, I need a 30 degree angle, so I made this length, the length that they're requiring, which is uh, 13 and 7 eighths, and then I want a 30 degree angle, so if you look on here, this is our pivot point, zero, and then we got 30 degrees right here, so all we have to do is you keep the pivot point on there, you bring that to 30 degrees right there, scoot it down to the line, double check it, 30 degrees, and there's a 30 degree line. So just something neat I learned. All right, so the first wall is done. This is the side wall that'll have obviously the entry door for us to be able to get in and out to clean it. And then you see the shape and size of the nest box. <coughs> I'm gonna change the design up a little bit because this blueprint makes it so the roof of that nest box hinges up and down. And I don't want that because uh, chickens are actually uh, prey and the predator, predator yeah, predatory birds and critters like to attack from the top, so it stresses them out when you open up the top to reach down and get your eggs. Just something I read and watched a few videos on. So we're gonna make it so it opens from the side. That also will make it so when we clean out our nesting boxes, we can uh, clean them uh, from the back side. So. Second sidewall is built. That one's got the opening for the birds to go in and out of. That'll be the, uh, actually this one right here is their, their hole to go in and out. And then the other wall is built. 
So that one is the longer side wall, not the side with the egg box, but the other would be on this side. So I'm getting ready to build the fourth wall, a partial wall, because this has got the egg box on it on this side. So this wall is shorter and long because it goes along the side of the coop here, but it's the part that goes right there. So it'll run this way. So that's the part I'm getting ready to build now. Right side wall. And then after that is the stand walls up. So I'll start standing walls and uh, it's coming together fast. Okay, so that went fairly well. We've been working on this for a couple hours now, just tinkering, but uh, floor is all framed. All the walls are framed. Um, this is uh, the side that the chickens are gonna go in and out of. And uh, that is their opening. And then this is the door that we enter into. So we'll be able to go in and out right here. Um, this back wall is nothing, just it'll be all covered up. Wait a minute. And then I'm confused on this wall for a brief second. I don't remember doing why I did that. I'll look in the, on the plans in a minute. I did build it just like the plan said so, but anyway, egg box, nest or nesting box is right here. Uh, still got to finish framing that out. It's got framing for two windows, so that's pretty cool. All right, I figured out my confusion. I, I seen when I when I built this, I'm following the design, the plans 100%. But when I seen this, we had a blocker here and a blocker here, but no blocker here. And this isn't the door opening because there's a, a sill plate. This is the door opening over here for us to clean it. But what it is, is there's a nesting plate that's gonna go from this here across to here, not nesting, sorry, roosting. And then they roost in there. So what the plan is for that is uh, they'll be roosting in here. So I'm gonna actually build a sandbox under here. So when the chickens fly up or climb up onto the roost box, they poop when they sleep. So they'll be sleeping up on those bars right there, pooping into some sand. The sand will be like three to four inches deep and dry when they poop into it all we have to do is take a kitty litter scoop scoop it out throw it in a bucket and then that can make fertilizer for the trees you just add a little water to it and let it sit and you make a, a poop slurry and then right in here where there won't be nesting or uh, roosting that'll be linoleum so that way it's easy to clean out we just pull everything towards us and then i'm not sure yet i haven't looked at the plan so much but underneath of these two by fours right here or that two by four in there is gonna be those nest boxes. And those, um, I think they're raised up off the floor four inches uh, or there's a lip so they have to climb into it and it'll hold hay and stuff or straw. And then these windows, it calls for going online and buying the windows they give you a website to use to find them, but I'm not doing that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I framed them the same dimensions that they required in the print. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build my own windows and then I'll just make them so they swing out. Like the window will be here and it'll go boop and they'll just be held out with a prop. So that'll get ventilation. It'll be chicken wire on the inside and then those will flip open and, and be able to ventilate um, and then close with a latch. So there's where we're at at the moment, more to come. Okay, so far um, we've got uh, all the walls up. You saw that last video. And I put the nest box supports in here and there cut the nest boxes. I don't like that they require you to use these because uh, as you can see, it's kind of splitting there, but they're durable. They're not going anywhere. But uh, nest boxes are in. All these pieces of timber you see cut are the pre-cuts that I just did for the roof. They're all roof trusses. I got the main beam up right here that the trusses are gonna go onto and then I've leaned down onto here. So that's our next part.
All right, so I've got all the framing done for now. Uh, I'm sure there's something, I think those end trusses I were gonna get something, but I'm following the, uh, the prints. So anyway, here's our first piece of siding on. Got the whole thing to do yet, but that's, it's a primed piece of T111 half inch. Um, it's gonna be painted white with black trim, but that's just, I bought the prime stuff. So anyway, that's uh, how she's coming along. Chickens will go in and out of there. It's gonna be cool. All right, it's the next day. I uh, got all the siding on. Window openings cut. Oh, ouch. That hurt. Um, window openings cut. Um, it calls for using the T111, same stuff on here, as this. But I don't like that idea because this stuff isn't made to be roofing material, and this is considered a roof. So snow load, um, the, the rain is going to lay on it, all that stuff. So I'm going to build it just like they show you with the, the prints, except for I'm going to shingle it. It'll be shingled. So uh, that's next step is get the roof material up there, the, uh, the uh, plywood or OSB. And uh, I'm going to drill some holes, take a hole saw and cut a few holes in between all of these. And uh, the reason for that is the ventilation that this is built to have would be over on that side, cut an opening, and then you open this window up and you get vent. But if I don't have windows open, I want it to be able to breathe. So what's gonna happen is drill those holes in there, cover it up with some screen so bees and wasps can't get in and build nests. And then on the top, instead of going all the way up to that peak like they're, they're calling for, I'm gonna leave a, uh, like a four foot spot opened up in the middle and I have ridge vent um, for it, like I did on the milk parlor. So I'm just gonna put one ridge vent up there and then that'll give us ventilation. So I got this side all done and the door opening cut. Everything's gotta be trimmed out yet, but that's done. And this side is done other than that one piece. I made a mistake on one of my smaller boards, which caused me to have to get a whole new sheet because that little section right there, when I cut it wrong, required me to use too much of another sheet and now I am short that much. And I had to buy a whole sheet to do it. So that's where we're at. All right, so I jumped ahead a little bit. Um, it's hard to film and work and try not to, like I didn't want to get paint all over my camera or my phone, and, but uh, I picked up some, uh, it's bare um, livestock and fence and barn paint or something. It's livestock safe. But uh, I picked up that and then one of these Wagner uh, power sprayers because my old sprayer took a, took a poo. So this little guy uh, will spray unthinned paint, but it seems to spray it better when I add a little water to it. Uh, so I, I painted with that. So we, uh, we got uh, one coat on everything. Plus I went through and uh, all the, the seams or all the the line, vertical lines, you can see extra white. It's because I just painted those with a brush to get better uh, better penetration in there. And uh, once this dries good, um, I'm gonna put a second coat on it. I did that before the roof though, because all the roof trim is black and uh, the shingles are black and I didn't want to get paint all over them. So if I do it this way, it just makes it a little bit cleaner and nicer looking. Um, now I did paint a little bit in the doorway here only because uh, I'm going to linoleum the floor uh, in the area. Well, actually the whole floor will be linoleum, but I'm doing that for easy cleanup. And I did this just in case uh, I don't get it all the way up to the front. It'll protect the wood a little bit right there. But still got to build a door for this. Um, I got the piece, the cutout for that. I am using for the door, so I have a door. And then uh, I got to build the lid for this yet and put on the roof uh, plywood windows they're calling for i think i mentioned this already in one of my other um, parts of this video but the blueprints are calling for a uh, a store-bought window i'm not paying money for a store-bought window that's just nonsense when i can i can build the frame myself throw a piece of glass in it and then make it so it opens and closes from the top and just a prop rod it doesn't need to be no you know double pane uh, weather sealed awesome energy efficient window because it's a darn chip chicken coop so 
anyway, um, that's where I'm at at the moment. So I got it moved out here with the tractor. It's a little awkward and long, so it kind of wanted to tip forward. So getting it back in the barn to finish is probably not going to happen. I'll probably end up doing the rest of it out here. But it's a nice day out today anyway. So um, so we did that. And uh, that's, that's it. Uh, I didn't paint her she shed yet because I got to prime it first. And then there's a lot of masking. As you can see, all the the roof and stuff I gotta mask all that off because I don't want to get paint on that so um, anyway chicken coop is uh, getting real close oh and then the door uh, I'm not even gonna build a door for it because I want one of those solar powered uh, timed doors for them so what they'll do is or what it'll do is they'll have a solar panel mounted on the outside probably up up in here somewhere a wire goes into an electric motor that has a little uh, a cord that runs down to the door and the door is actually plastic with plastic track and everything. It goes over top of that. And then what happens is uh, at a set time, which, you know, in the, the summer, it'll be later, obviously, but in the winter, it'll be earlier. At a set time, the door will close and, and lock the chickens in for the night. And then in the morning, again, you know, you set when you want it to open and close, but in the morning, it'll open up and then they can come out into the run on their own and it saves some time, so. That's that. And then another plan I'm going to be doing, or I have for it, is on this roof side, there's going to be a, uh, a gutter here. And off of that gutter, I will feed down into a chicken waterer. I'm going to build one out of uh, some pipe. And it'll fill a, uh, a container up here. And then from that container, it's going to go down and then fill the chicken waterer. It'll be those uh, the nipples that they, they um, peck at and, and allows for water flow. So that'll save us a lot of time with the water uh, system if, if, you know, Mother Nature's doing it for us for most of the time. So that's how we're, or where we're at. Okay, we are done, except for painting the trim, although the wood is black. Everything that's white is gonna be white. Um, I gotta do the, the roofing tar on, on this, the nails that are exposed. Um, let's see, what else? That's it. And the door is all done besides paint. I'm pretty much down to paint, that's it. I, uh, I went inside the coop. I don't look good from out here, but you'll never see it. I drilled a bunch of holes under here. And those holes on either side are my soffit vent. So up in here, I got soffit vent all the way around it. So then it'll, it'll breathe good. It'll come, cool air go in there. Hot air go up out of that vent, ridge vent. So, uh, gotta build windows yet. So that's it. Windows in order that door for that. I made a, uh, a chicken ramp. I made the ramp for it. Doesn't get attached until obviously you're, uh, you're out on site where you're gonna have it. But there's a little ramp. And then I gotta figure out the door yet. I think I'm gonna order that one, but I'm not 100% sure yet. And that's that. It is a wrap. I will shoot a, uh, another video when it's all painted and set in its location and the fence is built and all that, but that's what we got at the moment. Thanks for watching.